Hello everyone, I hope you are all well. My name is Olivier, I am a certified mindfulness meditation teacher. And in today's video, I want to answer a question that was asked by uh, Max Anthony. And his question was regarding uh, thinking. When we talk about uh, mindfulness and meditation, we often talk about being in the present and, and not think about the future or the past. But uh, his question was that uh, thinking is useful. Uh, it helps us to plan. Sometimes it's helpful to think about the past. And also when we take a walk and uh, we think about things, we can have creative ideas. So his point was that thinking is useful, but meditation tells us that uh, to not think and to be in the present moment. So how do you uh, reconcile both? So my answer is that basically there are two types of thinking, uh, useful thinking and non-useful thinking. Useful thinking is what uh, Anthony said, Max Anthony said. Uh, we need to think about the future to make plans uh, in order to function uh, in our society, in order for us to set goals. And yes, we need to look sometimes into the past to uh, learn from our mistakes or things like that. Um, but we have to distinguish this type of thinking, useful thinking, to the thinking that is not so useful. So the thinking that is not so useful is the compulsive thinking. So say, for example, you have a presentation uh, next week. And this presentation generates maybe some anxiety or some stress. And because of that, your mind tends to ruminate on that presentation and you will think over and over and over about this presentation, uh, which will uh, feed and fuel the anxiety and the fear. The thinking that is necessary here is the planning, right? You need to plan for the presentation. But the one that is not so useful is to, um, to, to think again and again and again about it. And, uh, and that will perpetuate uh, the thinking. I talk about uh, this type of non-useful thinking in a video called uh, Buddhist Teachings. Uh, for beginners and uh, in Buddhism there is this uh, analogy of the second arrow. The first arrow that we may receive because of an event in life is hurtful but often because we tend to ruminate on it we shoot to ourselves a second, third and fourth arrow and so forth. And this is a type of thinking that we want to avoid by being present to what we do in our daily life. So say, for example, I have um, some uh, challenges with work and because of those challenges, maybe I'm going to have lunch, but instead of enjoying my lunch with my friends or family, you know, the, my thoughts are going to be um, ruminating on the problem that I have at work. So that is a type of uh, situation where we want to bring our mind back to the present moment to let go of our worries, to let go maybe of regrets that we have about the past because we can also ruminate on regrets. And um, yeah, so that's why, you know, thinking is useful, but also it's important to practice mindfulness and to be in the present moment to let go of this rumination that sometimes can completely color uh, our day, completely affect the way that we experience today and our life and also about uh, creativity. In my experience, uh, mindfulness is uh, very useful to generate uh, creativity. Because to me, creativity is not, it's not something that we force. It's something that we create the conditions for our creative mind to uh, produce something uh, imaginative. And so those conditions for me is, um, for example, having a clear mind, being relaxed, uh, not being stressed. Um, and I'm sure you can see that in your life. If your mind is full of worries and so forth, it's very hard to have creative ideas. Uh, that's why sometimes we take walks, you know, outside to kind of like uh, change our ideas and, you know, connect with nature. Uh, and so forth. 
So here are my two cents on uh, your question. I hope you find it uh, useful uh, and let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.